As we've heard many times, 165 years is a, a great legacy that we want to continue with St. Joseph Catholic Schools have always been dedicated to the academic excellence and lifelong formation of our students from as young as six months old through their education and graduation from Bishop LeBlond High School. This commitment to excellence and evangelization will only improve over the next few years with our partnership with one another and with Benedictine College. There are a number of ways we'll carry out this partnership and improve what we're doing and create a new culture of excellence in our schools and our early childhood centers. Starting with our early childhood centers, our early childhood and kindergarten educators in our Catholic schools do a fantastic job of providing a loving and caring environment, a lot like that family away from home, as the bishop was talking about. The idea of having family kind of starts there in our early childhood centers when the children are left with us for the many hours of the day. Our children first learn about the love of Christ and how to see the face of Christ in each other. Our partnership and professional development opportunities will help these teachers work closer together to identify best practices in this important area of development. Parents will see tangible results of this cooperation as these improvements will impact the instruction and care for our littlest learners. Early literacy efforts in our centers already showcase concrete outcomes as most children who start their education in our centers and move into our kindergarten classrooms start to read at a much faster rate than public school counterparts. I can attest to this being true as I was in a kindergarten class on Friday with some of our little scholars who are proud to share a three-page story, imaginative stories full of illustrations, and they wrote the stories themselves and were happy to read them, not only to me, but in front of their classmates. Our Catholic school educators who work with children in first, second, and third grade will also benefit from this partnership. In fact, we're blessed to currently have the student teacher in second grade from Benedictine College. She's excited to learn from one of our all-star veterans and probably longest tenured teacher in the city, Rosemary Swafford. Ms. Kirst, the student teacher, will see what it means to devote your life to the mission of Catholic education as Ms. Swafford has. The Benedictine student teacher's background and learning of innovative best practices will be something that will have an immediate impact on the students at St. Francis Xavier's second grade. As the academic subcommittee looks to make plans to form professional learning communities of primary grade teachers, we will look to leverage professional development of best practices and sacramental formation between our Catholic elementary colleagues. And of course, our inquisitive third, fourth, and fifth graders will also see improvement in their academic performance, as well as Father Christian alluded to, as their, as their appreciation of the goodness and the beauty of God's creation. These students start to learn and to read for learning more deeply in content areas. So the connection developed with the School of Education at Benedictine will be utilized to guide the teachers of these students to dig deeper into where God's beauty can be found in the social sciences natural sciences, mathematics, and theology. These are the years when children may, all start, may also start to feel a call to take a look into religious vocations. Our connection with one of the most highly regarded Catholic colleges in the United States will be leveraged to encourage these young souls to start to see themselves as stewards of God's many gifts and part of his plan to create a better world for his people by giving back as Father Christian Maluski emphasized just a few moments ago. Our partnership will start making an impact on our middle school students as well. This year, we're blessed at St. Francis to have another BC student teacher in our middle school theology classes. And obviously, middle school scholars have a lot of questions. And having a student teacher formed in the tradition of the Catholic faith through their tutelage over four years of learning from some of the preeminent theologians in our country is an amazing asset. We've already had wonderful experiences with BC students in our middle school religion classes in past years. And it's wonderful as a principal, as an administrator, to see and hear the conversations and feel the energy between these college senior student teachers and those sixth, seventh, and eighth grade students who are in need of good mentors and role models who know the truth and goodness of the Catholic faith and live it out on a daily basis. 
Another plan that will strengthen our common partnership will be the work together between our three preschool through eighth grade classrooms or schools and the Bishop LeBlond High School to start a vertical alignment of curriculum. This will certainly help our middle school scholars matriculate into high school classrooms with a firm foundation that is common to all three schools and allow for our high school educators to take them to even higher levels since they'll be assured that their students are starting from a similar curricular baseline. The dedication of LB and BC of education in the faith and in the arts is already in progress here at Bishop LeBlanc. A Benedictine student teacher will be in placement here this spring. Mrs. Ottinger, another fantastic and outstanding veteran teacher, will be working with student teacher Miss Coster and they'll be certainly making great music together as mentor and mentee. To further our goals of cooperation and collaboration, our St. Joseph Catholic School Partnership Academic Excellence Subcommittee is currently working on a plan to hold a summer institute on the campus of Benedictine College, where our teachers can identify how they can find the joy in living the mission of a Catholic education, connect with one another and discuss best educational practices, and we intend to allocate time to improve our teaching to those children with special needs, such as those with learning disabilities or dyslexia, since Benedictine has great resources for this and background in this area as well. This is still in the planning stages, but we have many ideas of how we can bring educators together to work together to carry on our partnership's mission of preparing scholars to be lifelong disciples of Jesus Christ together, family, parish, and school.